Hello everyone. So I'm going to try to go over some of the quality of life changes that are happening in Rust for the December patch 2022. They are changing a lot of different things. They're adding things, they're removing things. And I will just go down the list of the Rust commit log and I'll try to show examples as much as I can. So stay tuned. So the first change they are adding is a slightly darker material to the hemp ripe stage so it looks different. Next, they are increasing the despawn time for various things, including HQM ore from five minutes to 40 minutes, metal ore five minutes to 20 minutes, and a lot of other things listed here. Everything has an increased despawn time. Worth noting, the stack size for HQM ore has been reduced from 1,000 to 100. They are also adding uh, custom icons to berry clones, so you can tell which one it is without having to look at the name. They are adding some new colors to the wires. Just a quick example of how they look. The stone spear is now only 20 stone to craft. It used to be 50. It's also being removed from hackable crates and elite crates. And also the bat has been fixed. It's been removed from the loot table as well. They are increasing storage space for boats, submarine, and hot air balloon. So this next one is a very significant change. They're limiting underwater labs to only one location. As you can see, this is a very big map, but it only has one underwater labs. Furthermore, oil rig has an increased timer for the crate respawn, so you will have to wait longer before it respawns. And the cargo ship is going to be less frequent. This will have massive changes to the way the game is played. Also, they are limiting or actually removing the single CCTV and laptop that appears in heli loot crates, which is a good change, I think. So another significant change is pump checks and quarries will now use diesel fuel instead of low grade. Looks like you get 40 HQM from this particular quarry, but I'm sure they'll adjust this in the future. This is a sulfur quarry. I just did one diesel. It gives me 600 sulfur ore. This is the stone quarry. Gives you 600 metal and almost 4,000 stone. This is a pump check and I just ran it once again for one diesel and it gives you 50 crude oil. And not to worry, they are adding diesel to more places. I'm at power plant right now. As you can see, there's diesel here now. And they will add it to multiple locations. This is a big change. You can now rotate roofs when placing them. Also, this is amazing. You can place the walls now without them glitching. You can also take off a garage door now without having a hammer. However, it cannot have a lock and it has to be open. Wow, that's such a great change. There's some placement changes to the way walls go down. I think I'm showing this correctly. Also, it looks like they might be replacing the regular car keys with code locks, but I can't really show you that yet because it doesn't appear to be on staging yet, but that should be very interesting. You won't have to carry a car key. You can just punch in a code lock to get access to a car. So that pretty much wraps it up. I think these are the main quality of life changes that they will be adding for the December patch. There are more things in the Rust commit logs, including a weapons rack and Xmas stuff, probably an event or something, but I haven't been able to get access to it. It's in a private branch. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.
If you enjoyed this video, please hit a like, maybe sub, and I'll try to make more content. Have a great day.